Hey guys, Dow Phoenix here for a new taste test and review. I've got a really special three part series that you guys might be interested in. So, I got a little story time first before we get into it. There's my cat Cole over there on the couch. Uh, but anyways, essentially what happened was I was in North Carolina uh, for about a week or so. And the reason why I went there was because my friend Dave was getting married uh, to his now wife, obviously, that they've had a kid together. And, you know, it was a really good time. I also got to meet Xander Scullion of Excess Gaming Podcast on YouTube. It was a really interesting time. And that story time brings us into what we're actually going to be reviewing. I found this really awesome soft drink that you probably never heard of. Unless you're in the part of the country, obviously, then you're probably well familiar with it. So I'm going to show you guys some souvenirs that I brought back. I brought back some cheer wine. And not just cheer wine, but cheer wine squeeze, which will be part two. And we also have cheer wine cream, which is partnered with Krispy Kreme. This is just awesome. It's really awesome to uh, try like a new soda that we just do not have in Missouri. I looked at it on Amazon just to see how much it would cost to buy some of this stuff and it was ridiculous. Probably because it's people that buy it from that area and then sell it at a jacked up price to make a profit, which yeah, that's just the name of the game I suppose. But if the Cheerwine folks are watching, please bring this west of the Mississippi and elsewhere. We love this stuff. Promise you. So part one, we are going to be trying the regular legend cheer wine. Just like it shows on the bottle there. Okay, and as you might want to know, you've got to do the pour test. So we're going to go ahead and crack this open. Yeah! Hear that sizzle roar. Okay, let's go ahead and pour our beverage in here and cue the slow-mo. Yeah, let's just observe the nice bubbly goodness of this soda. It's got a nice, rich red color, almost like red wine. Hence the name, Cheer Wine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's definitely a very nice looking soda. But how does it taste? Okay, so now it's time to cheers Dick. with Cheer Wine. Give it a good taste. It's got a very interesting taste. I really like it, but it's not a typical soda taste. Like, it's supposed to be kind of like a cherry cola, but it's not quite the same. It's got a little bit more bitterness, actually, to it. But then the cherry aftertaste really kicks in. It's nice. And even though it does have a lot of bubbly action, it's not very fizzy. Um, which I'm wondering because this did travel basically over 1,400 miles. Maybe it got shook up a bit. I don't know. So uh, pardon me if my critique is off. It's got a really clean finish. I like it. And, uh, settles good with the ice. All this other stuff, you know, that I probably don't know what I'm talking about. I 
yeah, cheer wine is pretty nice. I highly recommend it. Um, in case you're wondering, here's some calorie facts and whatnot. So you can get a nice view of all that action if you want it. Not really focusing well on the camera. You can see it better from back here, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's cheer wine for you. I'm definitely going to be drinking more of this stuff. And then, you know, I'm going to take my time with it. Like I said, it's a three-parter. I don't want to open these bad boys just yet. I'm going to wait till this one's finished and then we'll work on this one. Uh, by the way, the camera that's being used to film this video probably won't be used for much else because uh, it's just a temp little thing. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out. Thank <laughs> you.